Hi everyone, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab. Today we are going to see a very interesting use case where we have created one Google form and we want to upload those things to particular folders based on the selection from this particular uh, radio button group, right? And we can upload one image or multiple images as well okay uh, as per your settings in google form uh, file upload uh, field okay then so let's get started and let's see so if i go here and show you so there are three folders in here right a b and c and if you go to folder b there is nothing in there we have selected folder b and let's select something from the scratch right so let's select forest gump or uh, yeah let's select forest gump and 12 angry men posters and it should be uploaded let's click on submit okay now we need to wait for 30 seconds max to max to actually yeah so here you can see the images appeared here automatically now there can be many variations so the normal flow can be that uh, you don't uh, give radio button for the folders but instead of that you type the folder name but there are there are a lot of chances that people will make mistakes so i don't prefer that particular flow right uh, second uh, people won't think about that uh, if they want to upload single image or multiple image so uh, i know as a freelancer that i need to think of that uh, from ahead right so i have already set up this workflow in a way that it will work with the multiple images as well okay third we don't want to create uh, duplicate files right so we don't want to uh, so when you are using a Google form, people are already uploading to your uh, Google Drive folders, right? So if you just move them, uh, copy them to another thing or use a upload a file action, then it will just duplicate those things, right? And we don't want that. We don't want to uh, use all our storage by making duplicate files, right? So in here, if you see, these are the old images, right? Not the Forest Gump and other things. So yeah it automatically cleans these folders as well right so let's see what is the workflow and how is it set up exactly right so yeah the google sheet part is set up here you can see that we have one google sheet and if you go to public connect webhook initial setup c column is set up as a trigger and send on event is selected because this is a google form based integration so only send on event will work and it will be instant as well right let me close my channel tabs here okay and here you can see that we are getting the data in the next one so here how the google form enters the data in google sheet okay so basically it enters the data as a comma separate it doesn't give you exactly the array format right so we need to actually convert that to array and how do we do that so we know that all of these are urls right so we are going to use text formatter text basic formatter right and extract url and simple response turned off so that will give us the particular array formatted uh, value which we can use inside the iterator to go through each email uh, each image one by one and move them okay in the next step we are going to use the search folder action of google drive right so the input will be coming in from the google sheet row here match object should be exit right so here we got the id of that particular folder in here then we are going to use iterator to go through all the images from this particular array one by one right but in public connect when you set up the iterator it only shows you for the first item of the array right so here you can see that we got the first url now we want to extract the id of this particular image right how do we do that so in order to do that you again need to use text formatter but the action will be split text this uh, this time okay so in split text you need to pass that uh, url from the iterator step and separator will be id question mark id equal to and we want the everything after that so that will be the last part okay 
and that will give us the image id or file which is uploaded id okay and then we are going to use google drive action called move file now it's our own drive right so we don't need to uh, upload it anywhere else uh, we can directly access that right because we are uploading in our own drive and again moving in our own drive as well right so we pass the file id we pass the folder id and yeah done this is it so once you do this it will try to do accomplish this thing for each and every image let me resubmit the form one time let's select the folder c this time add file and let's browse and okay so this time we are going to choose this submarine this and this this four one open it okay uh, folder c it takes some time to actually submit and upload all the uh, images to google drive in the first place right so yeah you might need to wait in this case a little bit okay and here you go all the four images are added to folder c so yeah this is how you actually do the google drive folder selection to moving files to a particular folder right and yeah i am sure that this will be helpful for many local businesses who don't actually use any uh, complex software or other things and they want to rely more on google workspace or google uh, free account right so yeah make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel called integration lab in case you want to hire me just message me on facebook uh, until then bye bye see you in the next video